We are very happy to be here as we spent a very good time last year. I had been as a Droga residence architect and also Andreu came to, to see um, Sydney and the beautiful houses of the, of the area. So uh, we take the advantage that we would like to thank you, the University of Sydney, to invite us to be here with you. And also uh, Helen Lockhead, that she organized it uh, with Dagmar, the, this lecture, and she is not able to be here. And that we are all friends from Columbia University. So um, uh, in order to have a discussion later on, is what we would like to, with, with you, colleagues and friends, uh, I'll try to, to begin this conversation with you. And um, it's interesting, this idea, this idea of entrepreneurship and agent uh, provocateur. I think uh, architects that have uh, nowadays not uh, a very big space in society, in this liberal uh, society, I think we have to be agents uh, provocateurs. It's also an entrepreneurship to be here now uh, with you. Uh, and uh, what we think is that uh, con conception and uh, production and construction goes together. Because in order to make a, a better world, a better world that for us architects and landscape architects is meant to have a physical atmosphere that um, makes the, the civic realm and the, um, the city better with the, the, the citizens. Uh, it's very important, the special characteristics, the density of the city, and the relationship between architecture and uh, a plaza and the system of streets. And this is what we have uh, tried to do, uh, Andre and I and our team, in all our projects. So is, uh, what I am going to, to explain today is a little bit what projects we do. We do private project housing, but normally when uh, we are asked for giving a lecture, we uh, choose <laughs> the public projects because they transform the cities, and the cities are the main focus of civilizations. And uh, it's what we want to share with us, with you. So uh, what we do, and what is the methodology that we apply? Uh, it was also an opportunity last year, uh, for me and for Andrea too, uh, to have time to deepen in what is the way you have to, to, to do this methodology of work? Because uh, sometimes our profession is very busy. You have to, to cope with the deadlines of the, the promoters, of the city, of the state, of the client. And sometimes you don't have time to, to, to reflect, to think about what are the objectives and uh, the, the, the sense of what you are doing. So it was a very good time, and thanks to our team, we could uh, so do you hear me, you all, if I'm here like that, yes. So uh, I'm going to show several works where the building, in this case, the Church of Santa Maria del Mar in Barcelona, the fabric around uh, goes together. I think when we, you deal with a project in the city, uh, one has to be able to see the vision. How could it be transformed? Sometimes it's difficult for the client to see that. And I think it's important for the client to put some uh, confidence to the, the architect or the landscape or whatever, the, the designer in order that this could be possible, because uh, to have the confidence is good for creative people. So the confidence is that this vision that is difficult to, for everybody, because it seems that everybody understands how to do construction, but to change places is not so easy. 
you have to study a lot also technical things, but also um, art things or formal things. So this is what uh, I find this area, very decayed in the center of the, of the city. And this is the church, the, the urban tissue around, and how topography could change uh, a quite insignificant place into a, a symbolic one. Uh, so the, the church, the, the square, the symbolic, and the geometry. We think that geometry is very important because all the main, not only in the buildings that of course are based on geometry, but also the, the spaces, the plazas, because a city is a mix of buildings and plazas. And the tectonic of the materials are also important. As Khan was saying, the details, you imagine the details with a certain material, a materiality. It's not that you can change uh, the materiality and it's the same. So the a new facade that appeared from a demolition of a housing block was used to make this common uh, grave and to put a, a plinth that uh, with a simple sentence could make uh, this place a, a place of gathering and commemoration. Also, in another project in Barcelona, uh, the conflicts of the, the master planning, for example. This was the city of Barcelona before uh, the grid of Cerdà was placed. And you see this point where the, the, the communications to the central city were very uh, good at the beginning, but then when the grid was placed, these places uh, become very conflict to, uh, as a communicative place. This was one of the areas that uh, was left and uh, a block of housing was demolished. You see here in the left the diagonal street and all the streets of the grid of Cerda were not on. So it was important to open these streets of the grid. We had to decide at the moment and transform this other street, di diagonal street with this plaza here, and to refurbish that as the riverbed of Recomtal, that was a creek, a canal, that was giving water to the center, the walled city. So how to transform a marginal place into a place that would be in the map of Barcelona, how to integrate a new fountain that, with the continuation of the urbanization of this in the other place. You see, this is the, the linear, the diagonal street, transforming to a riverbed. How the materiality of reddish colors contrast with the, the gray colors of the city. And the use of water and the kind of sculptural landscape that brings um, um, a similar project in in Girona. Or the, uh, there is the Roca restaurant now that is very famous. It is that uh, the city of Girona has a monumental space here and then the, this part that is the Mercadal, that it was not so organized. So we were asked to transform all this area of the city into, to bring, uh, to bring it a, a very, a better commercial area and organize the, the whole landscape. So this is the river with the bridge, the north-south bridge. This was the area that we had to transform, full of cars, and how the transformation of the urban spaces in this case makes that the commerces at level um, revitalize 
in the city. So this was an argument that with that changing this superimposition of the older part of the city to this part that's called the Mercadal, you see the, the old streets of the city superimposed to the other uh, streets of this area in order to make a pattern that it's common to, the, to all this area, as this was not an organized city, uh, uh, north-south avenues, or it's more a random street area. And some kind of rule was important to over, over um, impose to this area in order to, to seem a, a unity and form part of the historic city. Well, this is a metaphor in order to make a unity uh, before uh, of the, the two parts. You see that this position makes the main street of Santa Chiara, that it's with an urbanization that is completely lineal, and the other complementary streets with a net that makes a, a, a unity of the whole thing. The materiality of this, it was contemporary projects with the other one that you have seen. This is, uh, we use new materials, or traditional materials in a contemporary way. And this is a curtain with a concrete and stones. And then the first, have you, you have seen this transform before there was with cars. So, new chops at that area revitalize the, the zone. And uh, the other issue is that the relationship between buildings and open space, we try to relate both elements. In this case was uh, an area of Roman therms that we had to do uh, a protection shelter, a new museum, and what we thought is that it was a, a very nice uh, town near Barcelona, in the, in, the conglomerate, in the metropolitan area of Barcelona, near the airport. And it has been decayed, as all, all these uh, surrounding towns of the, the central city. And we uh, tried to do the renovation of this, area, of this site together with the renovation of the facade of the city. So it was a twofold objective. And to put at level the Roman ruins of, a, of, a, of an old um, Roman villa, to put them at the level of the street, that this street was the main street uh, to the center of the city. And you would see how these big windows relate to the interior basement. We put it uh, connected with the level of the street, and we placed um, this uh, publicity painting as uh, it is a copy of the mosaics that were br that were brought to the to the museum in order to make like a, a, a metropolitan publicity of the museum near the airport to attract the people to visit. And at the same time, we recuperated the facade of the city using materials to recall the Roman times. And this setback of the roof uh, goes together with the setback of the stairs of the great in, the interior grade that uh, would uh, bring to the Roman therms. And all these cuts, these windows, makes this transparency between the exterior and the interior. We gave different materials to the different roads. And uh, a, a, um, a crystal roof to illuminate the, the Roman baths. So these are the grates and the stairs, and we took care of that the, the rooftop and the stairs could make this connection between interior and exterior. So this is the grate, and you find the ruins, and this is the main uh, section of the street. So it's like a hole, an interior plaza, 
that connects with the, the city. This was how it was before. Another project that deals with architecture but also with landscape is that the first time you visit a site, it's very interesting to, to grasp the, some hints of the, of the area. And this was a, a, an area that you see some almond, the color of the almonds. And we were asked to do um, Parc de Bombers is a fire station in a new industrial area south of Barcelona, in Tarragona. It was the capital of the Roman Empire in, in Spain at the moment. And we tried to, to recall the, the agricultural fields and the, the folies of the area and tried to place the new building together with the sport hall in relation with the territory and the, and the mountains around. So this is the first, the process of a new hall for the, for the passes of the, uh, of the, the firemen and, the, and their um, rooms. So we transform the hall as the main area, also like an interior plaza that when the fire arrives, they could escape quickly to the road. And what was interesting is the process of building. We like very much the building, so <laughs> sometimes it's difficult to build, but the transparency of the building when it's, it's like a sculpture, is like a... Uh, but then when it, it becomes to be more built, you, you see the entrances. So this wa there was a, a mountain here, Mont de Mont Blanc, that some... It depends on how do you see the building. It relates to the mountain. Uh, I'm growing of scale, but this is also, they are project, they are not master plans, no. Uh, but uh, this area of Barcelona, no Barris area, it's, it's an urban project, but of course, um, it was the only suburb of the city, well, let's say suburb of periphery of Barcelona, now it's not where infrastructure has a lot of power, and also the views of this poor area of the city, we tried to, to make an explanation that they were as, as nice as the better areas of the city, and that all this area could improve a lot with making this relationship that I was speaking before about the uh, architecture, uh, public space, and system of streets to put it together in a topography, in a, in a topographical way that they are connected. And trying to, to, to transform what infrastructure, the infrastructure into, uh, into streets or into avenues. And in this area, the, this is the orthophoto before, you could see that it was full of different kind of buildings, abusive buildings that there was no landscape, that this was an old psychiatric hospital that had been eaten during the 60s and 70s of the last uh, century by blocks of housing. And so, and you see the infrastructure here, like a, a big highway with nothing else, with slopes. So all this area was hidden between this wall of blocks and what we imagined was a cubist landscape that could bring all the bits and pieces, uh, bits and pieces that were formed by buildings and by leftover spaces to create a new landscape that include buildings and new housing in order to create a new space that instead of being uh, neoclassically linked to the city, it could be more um, uh, a multi-perspective place that you could enter from different streets, allowing views and possibilities to, to, to that inner space could be the center of a new neighborhood and that could create a civic district. So this was the 
the situation before, very close, a uh, big building, the, the old psychiatric with different courtyards closing itself as a, as a city in itself. The places with parking lots and low buildings. And we try to transform all the separations of walls into slopes in order to connect two levels. And to, to, because we always uh, put emphasis on connections, on uh, slopes and topography, because linking different levels makes easy the connection of people. I mean, you can easily find the place. And the central city, what we call a uh, hub, is, is the place that is better communicated. So all the effort is to communicate at level, but also creating the, the overall space. And um, this is the central courtyard of this all psychiatric, that what we do, what we did was open all of these entrances. Some patient was there, so we had to wait, but around there was this building, and we tried to organize these slopes to the upper part. And so this language of the drawing that you have seen, it's brought to the smallest detail, even the, the uh, pavement and the treatment of the vegetation and the fountains that we placed in order to, to follow an itinerary. It's a, it's a big area of 16 hectares. So it was a necessity to create new itineraries because it was a hidden area uh, inside a big uh, barrier of, of blocks. So this building that was a stucco, we take uh, we took the stucco out. Uh, this was a new library placed here, and then these elements that we placed in order to put new trees, new temporary artificial trees. That then, with the planting of one thousand trees, they are now these guys. These are all photographs, but they serve also to lamps, lamps in, the, in the evening and uh, making a, a transition between the buildings and the, the open space. You see new housing areas there because we arranged the, the master plan and putting new activities in order to not to be an, uh, a, only a residential area but a mixed area. This is the, the it took eight years to do that, and half of the, uh, the first part of the, of the area was this one. You could see some of the, around the building. So what we had to do is to, to extend the interior courtyard with the exterior space and around to put all the, all the, the cars beneath, in, in new parking lots beneath the, the streets, in, in these streets, you see full of parking lots in the second phase of the project, we placed this under the, the street. And of course, in the first phase of the project, it was to create a space around the building to, and in the second part, because this was a flat area, and in the second part, we tried to do another scheme in order to make, to cut the topography because this was a flat area to place the, the old building, but from this point to that point, it was like 40 meters of difference of level, and because of that, we created these triangles, um, cutting and putting at level these triangular pieces with the, the buildings that you had in front, in order to create a series of uh, plazas of 100, meter long that was leading to the, the, the apartments or the building, in this case existing buildings, in this case new buildings, and putting a, a big pavement around the, the traffic roundabout in order to connect this main street to this area. So this is a Google area view where you see this kind of big sidewalk plaza that you can stop here and look at the sea from here and, and these elements. A new road was placed here, so we placed a big 
um, bridge in order to not to stop this connection because the idea of that drawing you, you saw is that all this area should be connected with the main uh, thoroughfare of the city because if it was hidden within this neighborhood, it would not have the importance, it would be marginal, it would be just a neighborhood. And you have to have the view of the, the city because this is the, the belt, the mountain belt that leads all, that connects the, the whole city. So from here, this neighborhood uh, was placed. And here then we built a, a tower of residential in order to see that all these buildings are new housing that were placed here. These are um, old buildings, new housing for young people, for older people, for young people. This was existing. At the same time, somebody con uh, built this new housing. And some photographs of uh, the ceramics that help to, to bridge the difference of levels. Now it's full of trees, and these elements serve to, to connect an itinerary that was not before. Uh, integrating the, um, uh, this aqueduct that was giving water to the city to maintain the topography in order to transform it into a lane. And, uh, this is the Sydney <laughs> pool, <laughs> you see, with this kind of triangular rounded shapes. And in this area, it was, uh, this is the for house for the elder, house for, for the uh, 100 apartments for young people, 40 square meter apartment. Uh, we were invited to Melbourne to the Mandial sustainable uh, of Melbourne in, to show this building because it depends on the insulation we changed the, the material of the facade and also it was very rational with the stair in the middle and creating eight apartments around with cross ventilation in these apartments eight apartments 40 meters, just two rooms. And the building decreases, and in these setbacks, you have the public um, services of the, of, of the whole apartments. And uh, an institute, an uh, university institute, at the lower level, connecting with the area. You see, because the street is at that level, the park is at another level. So we were lucky to find somebody who placed the institute here because normally it's not a very commercial area yet. And trying to adapt the building with the sky and the neighborhood around with the same materials. And uh, this is it, more or less, the connection with the, with the, the hills. And now, I think it's Andreu, uh, time to, to come and explain uh, other projects that uh, mainly are not urban, uh, they are not urban, pro they are also master plan projects that, uh, that then were building amenities and urban spaces and transforming infrastructure. It is a change of scale. And uh, you explain the, the, this other. Huh? Because uh, Andreu, uh, the, the Olympic Games of 1992, he was the director of this area. So uh, he's going to explain better than me these this kind of projects. I'll try. Good morning. Uh, but I go forward. Um. <laughs> I, I didn't want to make an interruption. So, but uh, anyway, thank you. Thanks to the university for housing this lecture. And I'll try to keep the track of Carmen as well as I can. Uh, now I'm, I will present uh, three works that uh, apply to the, to, 
larger areas, so big scale projects, trying to apply this principle of transforming the city, but at a larger scale. Uh, and all of, all of them uh, is a long process, so it takes a lot, uh, time, where, but uh, it's, a, it's a span of time that's good because you grow with and you learn with the project, so that, that at the end, uh, the, the result, it, it gets better. Mm -hmm. So Glorias, which is a, a larger area extending from Plaza de las Glorias, which is the name, to Par de la Ciutadella, it's an area which has been a conflict, uh, conflict in the history of the urban history of Barcelona, because um, the difficulty to to re reconnect uh, Poplano area with the center, because there were a lot of uh, train railways in this area, so uh, it was a sort of of, of uh, a piece of, of the city to be recomposed. So the first. Uh, issue was to, uh, op to to plan or to oversee how the transformation of the all the land of the ancient railway, this is uh, ancient Estación del Norte, can house different cultural facilities like the auditorium, the new theater, and changing the mm, character of the area into something cultural. Mm -hmm. Glorious uh, itself is a problem uh, which involves infrastructure because it's one of the main entries to the city. So in that case was dealing with uh, uh, how you can fit uh, a strong, heavy infrastructure into a dense city and how you can take uh, advantage of that situation and transforming it into a, a plaza or, or, or a park or a, an open space. So the first one is, this is the, 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 the oldest project we did in the area, but having in mind this overall transformation, this is the, the Park Estacio del Norte and the reuse of the ancient uh, station, the railway station. In this one was also the first time in, in Barcelona, in that policy that Barcelona ran during the 80s of uh, transforming the city using public spaces, was the first one of a series involving public art in it. So. Uh, Many famous artists came to Barcelona because it was a fashion to, to put some piece uh, in Barcelona. So we got Roy Lichtenstein, Richard Serra, Ellsworth Kelly, and we got Beverly Pepper for that part. So it was a, a project where you got the, the side, the problem, but you also got an artist to work with. And the, 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 the goal was to develop uh, uh, a work together not to place a work of art in a, in a plaza, which most of the other the cases were. But, but in this one, we, we try hard to uh, develop a work of art integrated in the, in the ground of the park. So at the end, the, the piece is not a sculpture, but it's a, a, mo a modeling of the, of, the, of the ground, and then a cladding of uh, ceramics, because Be Beverly uh, fall in, fell in love with, with the ceramics in Barcelona when she saw the uh, Casa Valló from Gaudí and this color ceramic and she said, well, that's fine. We're going to work with this material which is very Catalan and very local. So we were also very happy to do that. This was Estación del Norte, that piece of land. And this is glorious. This is a, a photo montage we did at the beginning of a modern and how the, the, that traffic junction with no form, no geometry, no, no sense. How can it be changed to something that makes urbanity? So that but like the first shot of how a, a, a new shape can give some order in an area which was absolutely fragmented and disordered. So the project involved uh, the, a traffic junction that we develop a system where you can interchange from upper level to lower level, so to uh, high speed traffic to uh, local traffic, by means of a, of a, a square, an inner square, where we develop a, 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 a new landscape, a secluded landscape inside. Also, surrounding this area, uh, there were placed several uh, cultural facilities. Uh, we did one of them. This is the the, 
National Conservatory Music of Catalonia. Those are. This is part of the uh, of the auditorium, uh, which is a, is a, a complex which houses the auditorium of the city, and by Rafael Moneo, the uh, conservatory, and also the Museum of Music, which we also did. This was a work in collaboration with Rafael Moneo that we developed parts of, of this huge uh, complex, which is more an industrial building than a cultural facility. Okay. Well, and then next to Glorias, probably this is, uh, Glorias is, is there on the right. There, there was the Gran Via, which is linked to that system of Glorias because it's the, one of the main entrances to, to the city. Again, that problem was similar to Glorias because it was dealing with uh, a strong traffic uh, infrastructure, basically a highway entering in the city, and how to deal with that because the, uh, well, th that was the, 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 how it was before. So it's, fun. it's a great design for a highway. It has a, a, a lower level with high speed traffic, no interruptions, and then the local uh, lanes at the two sides and with the bridges, bridges every 300 meters. But the problem is that the, 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 the city grow along the, the highway and then it's basically residence and the, the noise was in, well, terrible. So that project in fact began with a strong uh, protest and demonstration of the residents for we have to do something because this is uh, it can be we can understand that that noise. Mm -hmm. The idea we had was let's throw a green ballet over the the highway and 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 make a new layer that will make that different. But the situation was that this is one of the graphics of the of the noise that you see that this beautiful section for traffic, it's so open that the, the noise hits at the lower levels of the, of the housing. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the design started with the transformation of the section, basically. The red line is the, the, the ancient section, and how we, we built the new topography uh, that will control and hidden the, the noise of the main traffic uh, we uh, put the, the, the local lanes much for far, uh, as, as far as possible from the, the facade of the housing on this cantilever over the, the road. And we take advantage of this new topography to place a, a, a tramway, a public transport here, and an underground parking facilities on, on the other side. Now, th this is the, the one I was looking for, how the, the noise then with these uh, shells and everything gets control and the amount of, of, of noise on the, on the housing is reduced to, to, to minimum. Mm -hmm. Here you see also how the, the tramway interfaces with the, with, with the local uh, level and, and this is an opening of, of a station here or how the, the, the underground parking has one level which is uh, accessible at level also from the residents on the other side. So this was very much work in section to, to solve all this system of infrastructure, traffic, and also covering noise, but to, at, at the end, gain a new uh, parkland uh, along the the, 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 the Gran Via, hmm? which is, well, this is the, the plan. So the, the, the next uh, thought is the, the plan. And the plan is it's amazing because it's two and a half kilometers by 100 meters. So you develop a, a, a huge amount of, of public space. And so the, the design of this public, the, this this drawing is showing the two main levels. So we have, this is the ground level, let's say, and this is the lower level where we have the tramway, the, the, the parking, and the main traffic line. So it's like the servicing behind. The plan, 
uh, just to point out the plan, we, there was also uh, an issue of uh, connecting the two sides. This is a neighborhood that the highway has the effect of cutting one uh, side from the other. For instance, the market is, is on the, on the uh, eastern side, so the people living on the western side was difficult to go to the market. So the, we wanted a design that the overall design be, again, uh, like Carmen was saying before, with no worries, giving unity, a, a unity of, of landscape. So there is like a trace of zigzag going, re reconnecting uh, both sides, that, and then the, the, the lines of trees and, and the, the paving and everything follows that uh, pattern that tries to, to relink one side with the other. We also uh, reconnect the, the streets with several bridges, pedestrian cycling bridges, and restoring the normal distance of the Barcelona. One is used to the 100 block, which is the measure where you can cross the street. So in here we restore that measure, which is very much in the. Well, this is uh, under construction, as to show, because another thing that uh, one tends to forget when when you work with infrastructure in the city is that the city never stops. So the, you, you have to plan also how you can uh, keep the traffic going and without interrupting the, the life of, of the city because one, this is the, one of the main uh, thoroughfares to, to arrive to the, to, to the center of Barcelona. This is part of all these underground wars. And this is the, the finish with the, with the protecting shells. We, th we designed these, these shells in collaboration with Enric Miralles. Yeah. And the, the point was to uh, develop a system with these inserts of color glass, well, color plexiglass, actually, to bring some life on the asphalt. Because the, the, the great losers of this game were the, the drivers, because the drivers have an open uh, landscape, an empty, uh, and, and now this is lost. So we decide, well, let's control that, but give some amenity to the, to the ground. Okay, th this is a, an overall view of the Gran Via, uh, just after. Now, now the, the trees, the mass of trees that follow this patterning that links one side to the other, now it's, it's much Breathable because here it's difficult to notice. We take advantage of some uh, sectors which were wider in order to place uh, elements like this is a lighting system. This is one of the squares. That the, 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 the new landscape is like, has a horizontal sort of a square, smaller squares. And then a slope, green slopes that you can really appreciate uh, as a facade from the uh, facade, the, the, the buildings, the residential line. And also, uh, we install water works fountains in one of these, uh, taking advantage of the larger sectors of the Gran Via. The water has an added effect to the noise reduction that it covers, the, the noise of the water covers what it's remaining from the, from the traffic. This is one of these entrances to the underground parkings or one of the railway stations. This is the, the interior of one of the stations. You see, well, in this where the station appears then is closed completely because of the, of the noise reduction, and then it opens as a gallery. People from the tramway didn't like that because uh, tramway is, is, they are not metro. They are not underground. So it's something which goes with their idea. So when we proposed that, we said, well, it's not exactly underground. You are at the same level as the highway and you have a porch uh, an open, uh, but uh, <laughs> that was okay. Well, and, and the last uh, work uh, we are presenting 
is it, it's still going on. This is a, a project in, in Paris, in, in La Défense. And, but also deals with this idea of transforming infra, infrastructures or how you can deal with them in order to change the city. And La Défense, the, uh, the, the French government, they are trying to uh, rehumanize the La Défense. La Défense is a, a, a neighborhood, well, it's a business district basically, but there is a lot of residents as well. Uh, and it was designed with with the car in mind. So is is you can only get there by car. Uh, it, the the all the infrastructure and the and the public and the transportation public system is is very complex. They, they have like four levels of different uh, trains, metros, uh, highways going underneath the the main uh, slab, the La Dal, which is the, the main uh, is the end of the axe of Champs Elysees and with uh, the the arch down there. So they they are, they are concerned about how to uh, recover the 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 area more for for people for the humans and less for the cars and sort of humanizing it. So uh, La Defense also has the, the main axe that you all know. And then there is a, a, a boulevard circular, which is a, a beltway, basically. And from that beltway, there are junctions and, and connections to the center. The area we were uh, giving is the, the junction of La Rose de Cherbourg, which is this one. And uh, the, the, the problem was how to uh, transform that ring into uh, an, uh, an, um, a public amenity, uh, a, a public space. They have in mind Highline New York, of, of course. And, uh, but al but, and also, this will be the support for a series of, of uh, de developers uh, that will uh, develop s certain um, buildings in, in the area. So it was a project of public space uh, going together with uh, these operation, building operations for developers. The main one is uh, the first skyscraper that the Agence Jean Nouvelle will build in La Défense. And also uh, to develop um, commerce, uh, commercial spaces together with, with the, the system. That was the, 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 the problem. Mm -hmm. Well, now I pass very fast. The, these diagrams, they are all ones, but just to, to, to understand how is organized the, the area. We have a long axis entering under the Latal, which separates more or less two areas. Uh, one that can be foreseen as a green area, as a new potential parkland, and the other one which is more mineral and hard and, and used. The three operations, uh, this is the tower, and this is a, a housing, and this is another housing block. And the, the ring will act as a sort of link between all that system. The first idea was at ground level, we'll develop a main plaza, a main plaza that will be the platform for the new buildings, for the new commerces, but also will be a main uh, public space that will attract and give character to the area. That was the movements, the mobility that we had in this area, we really crisscrossing that point. This, those are pedestrian. And then the, the idea of the plaza is reinforced as, as, a, as a place of encounters. This is uh, a first idea of how to develop. Uh, I mean, the, we wanted to express from the uh, ring itself that it has changed. So uh, we need what we call this uh, sort of woe factor that will say, I am not anymore uh, a traffic junction. I am something else, and you can use me, and, and you can come on top. So this, in the perimeter, obviously, we, we design, uh, we foresee at that moment a perimeter that will express that change. And later on, also, there is an inner, an inner perimeter that will express something else. OK. and then. And then the, the other issue was the connections between the upper level and the lower level. And that will be the, the role to be played by these new commercial spaces that will be 
connected to using adjusting the the ring and the ground. Okay. Now this is a, a, a one ground plan as it is uh, now. Uh, there is all this network uh, spiral which will develop the system of, of paving and uh, the how the, the the green will appear uh, all all over the tower the skyscraper is here this is the other the housing building this is the third one and those are the commerce commercial spaces that are being developed with the public space and the upper level which has connections with the tower itself or the other building so all this these buildings will have entrances the access from the upper level and the the, the 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 commercial spaces at that level are basically stairways or ramps or means of access to the to the to the to the ring you notice that in this perimeter we are developing a, a system of what we call uh, petals which is like the road that if I don't know if I mentioned that the name of the place is La Roche de Cherbourg. So the petals are flourishing from the ring to express that, that idea of, of change and, and newness. We are exploring a, a, a color palette to, because uh, it's important that, that you notice that you are there and, uh, and we understand that this is very fragmented, and uh, the buildings will, are very powerful, so uh, we need a, a platform that can easily be recognized. So, I think, and this is the, because the, the scale of the, of the buildings is this, and the scale of the ring is that. So, that is a, it's a, a difficult balance to be used. This is the, the first studies of this system of, of petals that will be uh, arising from the, from the ring. And those petals become more, much bigger and uh, at a bigger scale precisely in, 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 in contrast or giving some balance to the building mass. So we try to, to develop that, that principle. Well, this is how we... Uh, now, this is the situation. Now, uh, we keep that, which is the basic uh, civil work, the, the concrete slab, and how we'll develop something that will be overlapping that, just adding a new layer, but making that very readable. This is another color palette. And this is very much in context, that, that idea of the, how the plaza will house a give sense to that system that has a larger park area on that side and the ring is articulating both. Well, and to finish, uh, some, those are mod all models. Those are one, one year old. Because the project is going on and on. So that idea of the green that falls in itself to extend and okay. well, these, those are views, uh, pretty old, but the, the, how the plaza can be that uh, uh, very intense of activity uh, side with, with a sort of belvedere surrounding it. Okay, and this is it. Thank you.